going on everybody? Welcome back to the Truck Driver Sean YouTube channel. Ah! Today, look at this. We have another pedal from Supernova FX. This is the Disarray Riot, which I guess is slightly based on a Sure Riot, maybe? I don't know. But I'm going to say this right here for metal. You can do it, but where it shines is kind of like that coveted guitar tone that we always seem to, as guitar players, go back to, whether you're old like me or you're young. That tone that people were getting with the boosted Marshalls and using a, an 808 or a TS9 or an old Klon, like the ones now that you have to pay like $700 for, they would get those things to push in a certain way that just became very musical and super chimey, all right? So, this right here is the solution in a modern day to take your amp and get that kind of tone. You might say like, oh, Sean, you're, you're Captain Chugs-a-Lot. You're Sir Chugs-a-Lot. Metal guy, Sir Chugs-a-Lot. Never forget, my nucleus of my guitar playing all started because I fell in love with how a guy played guitar because it seemed fun. And that's Nuno Betancourt. So... When I say that this thing just gets super chimey and crazy, it really does get you back to that time, like the awesome like Motley Crue tone, and back when like Skid Row had good tone, <laughs> like Guns N' Roses, and you know the old Anthrax albums and Metallica albums and stuff. You will nail it with this. Very simple setup. You got volume, drive, tone. You have three voices. The voices I can't tell you much about them except for they go from flat to bright, and or I shouldn't say flat to bright. They go from very narrow to wide, or very wide to narrow, depending on which way you go up or down. Right? It's very cool. Matt Montgomery, guy behind the studio at Supernova Studios, does effects pedals called Supernova Effects. The dude. He, he's got a lot of knowledge. He's building an amp too, by the way. That's awesome. And when he gets a production model of it done as a head, um, I will be begging him to send that to me to demo. And I could be motivated to steal it. <laughs> to say it. <laughs> but anyway, he was kind enough to send me home with a couple pedals when I went and visited him at his, uh, his little toy room, we'll call it. <laughs> his wife is a saint, by the way. Any of us who have a lot of gear, if you have a lady, she's a saint. Give her a hug today and tell her you appreciate the fact that she lets you be a man-child. Okay? But never forget, she's actually the winner. Because if you're fucking with this shit, you don't have time for a mass amounts of drugs and alcohol. And you're not spending a lot of time with your buddies because you want to play with your toys. It's kind of a win. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that now I think about it. But anyway, this thing is fantastic. Um, I believe it's $150. You can have whatever color you want. You just tell them what you want. If you have a band logo or if you're a jackass like me and you have your own logo, he'll slap that on there. It uh, It's just a very cool thing that he does. He likes to personalize the pedal to you. Okay? He doesn't just build 10 of these and go, I got 10 of these right here for sale. No. He wants you to order one. It takes him a couple days to put it together. And then he gets a color that you want. And he etch a sketches all the shit on there and gets it so it's customized to you. You have that done by other pedal companies. They charge you a shit ton of money. His is a flat rate. Whether you want him to set it up or you want to have it set up your way, it's the same fucking price. All right? So go check out Supernova FX. Um, I always highlight their name if you see in my video being shared on Facebook or if you see pictures of this glorious pedal on my Instagram. He's always tagged in it, and here on uh, YouTube, to my knowledge, there's no YouTube connection for Supernova FX. There needs to be. Even if I have to film all the content for that damn channel, there needs to be. Because Mac Montgomery should be a, a big name in the pedal game. Because his stuff really is good. And talk about a guy who is more concerned with... <laughs> <laughs> just making cool shit and putting it in people's hands. This dude 
has made so many things, and he just gives them like to rock stars and stuff. Like, hey, try my pedal. And then you turn around and you start to notice if you see their rigs and stuff. Like if you watch rig breakdowns and shit, you start to see Matt's pedals, right? Yeah. Smart marketing right there, buddy. But anyway, yeah. Go check him out. So let's get this thing plugged in. You can watch my little intro, and I'm going to make believe that that big old fucking 12 seconds that you're watching that is how long it takes to hook all this shit up. But really, at the end of the day, yeah, I'm really going to see you in about 30 minutes. Because I think i got to take a shit. Either that or my farts are getting really fucking rank in my old age. But something tells me that fucker's close to the source. Mm. All right. Let's get it hooked up. See you like in... 18 seconds. Ciao, motherfucker! Alright, so we're sitting here with everything all hooked up. All right, simple signal chain. Doesn't get any simpler than this. We broke out the Tremonti SE, which I know a lot of people bitch because I use expensive guitars. Um, I'm kind of running out of the, the budget ones, to be honest with you. And nowadays, the budget ones are really expensive. So let's go get something hand-built in the United States for a couple hundred extra dollars. You know, same. All right, so, <clears throat> and yes, there is options, by the way. You got Deviant. Pretty fair, around two grand. And if you look at an LTD, you're looking at eighteen hundred dollars. So a couple hundred dollars, you get something hand built in the United States. Uh, Balaguerra is doing some really cool stuff, getting pieces, I believe, from other people, and then taking those pieces and building some of the best Lego guitars on the planet. I say that no hate. It's just snapping them together. It's just a joke. But uh, Joe does good work. I personally have not spent any time with one enough to give you a complete thing because uh, I'm not big enough for them to send one for me to beat on for a little bit. You gotta be in cowboy territory for that. All right, so um, yeah, definitely need more coffee. So we're gonna sit here and talk about the uh, the Disarray Riot. I don't know why I keep forgetting the name of that thing. This is a a very different kind of overdrive um, I'm gonna say if you're looking for like that really good 80s you want your amp to be pushed into the 80s maybe early 90s this thing just kicks it it just does so I'm gonna I'm just get to it because I'm like half awake I'm literally doing this first thing in the morning because I don't know I set it up last night and uh Thought I was gonna get laid, but I screwed that up somehow. All right. Okay, let's uh. Yeah, let's play. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, so uh, as you can tell, just turn off the pit. This thing just comes alive. So I'm going to play in a series of just riffs you already know, with and without the disarray. Okay? Yeah. Here we go. Let's fuck up some people's riffs. <laughs>
All right, so you got the idea. One, uh, I went one riff too many because I clearly went into a riff I couldn't remember how to play. All right, so as you can tell, it just where I have it set is good, but because I give, let's turn some fucking knobs. So we're gonna play with uh, the the tone knob first, just to show you she, she can get a little beefy. All right, here we go. <laughs> Now we're going to go with a game, which is just going to get absolutely stupid because it's got way more gain than it needs to have on tap. So here we go. Okay, so that was funny. That's a fuck ton of gain. That, that's ridiculous. All right, so the volume obviously is how much you're pushing into your signal. I'll drop it down just to show you that to make this pedal a lot more versatile, you can use it for a lot of stuff. We're gonna cut that volume back and then we'll bring it back up. All right, here we go. <laughs>
so we only got one thing left. Is I, I just kind of lost track of time there. This is a really fun pedal. So you have three different voices. <clears throat> um, I'm not a fan of the other two voices, so we're going to do this real quick. I'm just going to play one riff through the three voices. Um, and we're going to start at the bottom and work our way up. Basically, this is what makes it versatile, even though I'm not a fan of it. But there's guys out there that play blues, there's guys that play country, and this is where it kind of comes into uh, play, right? All right, so let's have a little fun. <laughs> Alright, now we'll, uh, we'll just pick through some strings so you get a little bit better idea. We're going to go all the way back down to the bottom again and here we go. So there you go. That is the Disarray Riot. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, so many names of pedals. But that's the Disarray Riot. It's a lot of fun. If you really want that 80s bite, that it, it's a really, at the end of the day, it is so synonymous with the 80s that people keep bringing that tone back into modern music. You just don't realize it because people are tuned so low. But really, at the end of the day, that, that tone right there is so chimey and musical. It's ridiculous. Um, I do believe this is a $150 pedal. Um, again, because it's a Supernova FX, if you want a certain color, blah, 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 you want your logo on it, this dude hooks your ass up. He's a really good guy. His name is Matt Montgomery. And uh, one of these days, I'm taking a vacation, and I'm going to go visit my buddy Greg down in... Uh, um, Memphis area of Tennessee and I'm gonna spend a couple days with Matt. I'm gonna try to talk him into like calling in hooky to work and uh, just to go over some really cool shit in his collection. And he knows the stories behind a lot of that stuff so I'd love to have him on hand for it. And he, he's such a nice guy and just having him on camera be able to tell some of these stories of acquiring some of the, he's got some, the dude has fucking museum pieces in my opinion in his, in his gear room, it's ridiculous. And uh, it would just be so much fun to film in there. And uh, yeah, I probably shouldn't go on about what he has in that room. Hey, Matt, if you're watching still this part of the video, don't send stuff from your house. Send it from the studio. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I didn't even think about that before I started talking about it the last couple videos. Achoo! Motherfucker! All right. That's fucking badass. Again, my solo chain is dumbass simple. This is an SE Paul Reed Smith. They do not make this model anymore, but you can find them, but people are ripping people off with it, by the way. Um, this is a Chris Robertson SE. It's all factory, except for locking tuners in the USA nut, I added. Just because I'm an asshole, and that's what I do. 
Uh, that's going into the Disarray Riot. I remember the fucking name without looking that time. That's going into the Redbeard Amplification Poltergeist 50, which, by the way, you're going to be, oh, wow, that sounds real bad to you turn on the pedal. That's the whole fucking point. You show what the pedal does, not what the amp does, just so you know. Be that fucking dumb. And yes, there's a bunch of you that are insulted right now that I just said that. You're probably the fucking dumb ones. Because the ones that aren't dumb are giggling, going, oh, yeah, we know. We got buddies like that. <laughs> we have to show them how to fucking, you have to show them the ways. Yeah, we all do. So that's going into my Arachnid 2x12, which is being captured by an, a uh, Sennheiser E609. Going directly into that camera right there. That is a Zoom Q8N, which goes directly onto my cell phone. No computers, no nothing. The noise you hear is the noise I'm making. Good or bad, indifferent, it's what it is. All right? So, hey, keep music evil. Send me nudes of your mom. And, hey, don't be a dick. Subscribe to my shit. All right? Very cool. Catch you in the next video. Later.